Hello guys, welcome to all of you to the YouTube channel Custom Knowledge, myself Karim. Uh, and through this video, I am going to show you the technical interview questions of C asked in copies and Crap Jam 9, Pro TCS, etc. etc. Friends, this is my second video uh, in which I am going to show you the Favon Pen series uh, with coding in code block. Okay, and in the previous video, I have already uh, shown you the palindrome number, what is the palindrome number, and what is the coding in the code block. Okay. So I suggest you please go to the my YouTube channel and see that video. Okay, how can you uh, resolve the uh, background number in the campus placement? Okay, uh, and if you like that video, so please like, share, and don't forget to subscribe to get such type, uh, to get such type of videos. Okay, my friends. So, so first of all, I think we have to know what is the Fibonacci series. Okay, so I think almost the students know what is the Fibonacci series. But the coding of that is really not very easy. So, firstly, I'm going to uh, show you, uh, and firstly, I'm going to provide you what is the Fibonacci series. So here you uh, here you can see what is the Fibonacci sequence, Fibonacci series. Okay. So the Fibonacci sequence is a series where the next term is the sum of previous two terms. Okay. And the first two terms of the Fibonacci sequence is zero followed by one. So it says that the first term is fixed to zero and one, and the Fibonacci sequence is eight. the next term is the sum of the previous two terms. Okay. So this is the Fibonacci sequence. But the very important part uh, of the Fibonacci sequence is what is the coding of this? Okay, so let's see what is the coding. My friend, this is your coding part in the code block, and I'm all uh, I'm also going to show you how can you code this and how can you um, write the Fibonacci sequence? Okay, in the IDE. So. Firstly, you can see the uh, has include in a standard in the top row dot edge, uh, on your dot edge, then int. Okay, then you have to write int what n. N is the range. Uh, what is the range? Uh, one uh, one to two, two. So okay, and a and b is the initialized value. Okay, I am already told you uh, the first and the second part is the already given zero and one. C is the actually sum of the both previous terms, and I is the constant which are using in this code. Okay, so firstly you have to print the number. Okay, sorry, range. Uh, the range what you want to print it, and then you have to use the for loop. Uh, okay, here you can see for i equal to one and I is less than or equal to n and i plus plus okay after that uh, for, uh, when you are going to the for loop then print f all the series percent d by using percent d and the important part is this c equal to a plus b and b equal to b and b equal to c okay and at the last you know get c at any term zero okay so let's see in the code block how can you write it and how can we Compile it. Okay. So firstly, you can see I'm already uh, right in code block as include standard input dot h as include home dot h. Okay. Into main. Okay. Then here is the variables we are using int and a equal to zero, b one and c i print up into the range. Okay. And scanner. Okay. For for loop. And print up the series c equal to f b and a equal to b and b equal to c. Okay, and at the last you have to what? Get c h and return zero. Okay, so let's compile and run. Okay, enter the range ten and your Fibonacci sequence. Okay, so uh, this is a few uh, Fibonacci sequence. In the next video, I'm going to start. Um, let's see what's the next video. So, okay, my friends. So, I hope you like the video. So, don't forget to like, share, and don't forget to subscribe to such video, my friends. So, tab tak kili goodbye and have a nice day.